Good evening, everyone. Today is Friday, October 8, 2021. Rebel 1, day 1. Vlog number 1647. Currently, I'm just setting up loading the vlog from yesterday, so by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog should already be up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I should say this is vlog number 1648, because I vlogged earlier. No. This is vlog number 1649 because um, I think I vlogged twice already today so and I'm just like trying to make up for all the days that I missed um, but yeah it's currently 8 44 um, I got up I had to take a nap I had to eat dinner so I uh, go over here and see so um, like around 5 I like closed down the shop <laughs> basically um, because I think I had been studying since like 10 in the morning today until 5. So that's a decent amount of time uh, to be doing Pomodoro and stuff. So yeah, and I was getting kind of sleepy. Sleep is like really, really important. So um, I kind of like took a break for like an hour. I didn't really sleep. Then I got up, um, I started working and then I got tired again. So I just like um, went to sleep for like an hour or so and then I just woke up at 8 o'clock um, and right now I'm just on break I'm doing my Pomodoro right now and I'm just like taking a five and then my mom's calling me <laughs> oh Prince so this guy's like kind of enjoying my time so I had to basically like um, not go and see my aunt that I never ever get to see anyway like in the first place um, um, or whatever even though it's like this is her first time being here and stuff um, <coughs> but I feel like if it's going towards my education it's probably for the best that I don't go and see her just because like um, like it's taking up so much of my time to uh, get all of my work done and get all my classes out of the way and plus like taking care of myself and maintaining myself and my you know eating and sleeping habits and all that stuff and not getting into car accidents I got into a car accident and I told my brother about this um, and he is now like working on like trying to get that fixed um, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. My car is just, like, parked at the moment. <laughs> Which is actually, like, not my car. It's my brother's car. So it's, like, you know, I can't really do anything about that. Um, and, yeah, you know. Um, my cat is, like, like, having a lot of fun. He's just been playing a lot with me and stuff. Um, and just, I don't know, just having a way better time because he has more attention from me than normal too, which is really, really important to me because my, my aunt herself was like, well, you should probably go and take care of your cats as well. And I was like, yeah, I should. <laughs> I really should. Um, so yeah, so I can do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to close this vlog and then I'll probably like pick up um again here later uh, it's currently 8 50 i have until about 11 59 to get all of my assignments submitted for today um and i have to so what i have left remaining to do is um homework assignments and classwork assignments for my mp2 lecture um and I gotta study for, I got a chapter quiz tomorrow on Saturday and I gotta work tomorrow as well so I don't have like a bunch of time for that either. Um, and then, let's see, what else? And then I think, so I already did the assignments for my, my bio 102, like, uh, sorry, my, my NP2 lab class. Um, I already completed, um, those assignments that are due tomorrow, so I have some time tomorrow to just work on, um, my NP2 lecture stuff, um, 
and then I have the rest of the stuff I have just like a bunch of assignments um, that I'll be do I think either on Sunday or Monday um, that I have to work on probably on Sunday to complete um, for no chill for ANP2 lab um, so that and then um, I have to do basically like an outline um, like a rough outline for a paper that I have to do I think it's due date is by November the 30th so I have to create an outline um, and then I have to find references and I have to do it in you know APA format so um, I have to get all of the references and put them in APA format first um, in the outline and then um, <laughs> you know, like come up with the title and then um, what each of the different sections are going to be about. So each paragraph, what is it going to be about? Um, and make like a rough outline and then have like a nice little outline and then um, start working on the rough draft and then hopefully finish with the rough draft by the end of this month or so. And then um, start working on the final draft um, and have that ready to be submitted by the end of November um, so yeah that I'm doing for a and one lecture um, and then I have a take-home exam that I still pretty much have to study for for a and one lecture and then um, I just have to prepare for a and one the exams um, and the labs and um, and then let's see I think there's there's that and then I just have to prepare for the exams so for nutrition I have an exam I think coming up really really soon it's not even that far away. I think it's literally on Monday. Um, so probably going to do that on Sunday. And then I have... No, no, no. Princey, down. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Stay there. Sit. Um, the ex... Ow. Bite. And then, um, I'm thinking what else? Uh, the exam for the nutrition and then exams for like, um, my a and one lab. Um, but I'll have a couple more in for, uh, in face with her before, you know, we get to know about the next, uh, lab test and, what's going to be on it. Um, yeah, so I have to literally read um, and, and stuff for my nutrition class um, because she like uh, she gave a second test around, you know. Um, she said that everyone did really poorly on the first time, so on the first exam, so she let us retake it. So I took the retake and I still did really badly. Um, so yeah, and I have to fill out the um, like the review sheets. So I have to know like basically what I do is like with the review sheet, I'll write out a paragraph for each individual like review topic um, for study notes so I have to do that um, and create study notes um, and have plenty of time to go back over them and memorize everything um, because that's basically what it's requiring is just memorization um, and that's the part that I was lacking um, both times that I took the exam the quizzes were um, done online so I didn't I think I was okay there. I still haven't gotten the grade back, so I really don't know how I'm doing in that class. So far, what I can see is I, I have 100. So, um, but that is like, 
that's pretty much all like you know depending on whenever she gets the grades out and averaged out um, with everything else inside it and then yeah I think that pretty much covers everything so a and p2 um lab i have to study for her as well um but uh right now i'm just like in the process of also linking a and p1 lecture with a and p1 lab so once all that kind of gets combined and linked up you know it, everything will go a little bit more sm smoother as far as my studying goes um and time management goes and like how I learned the material for the exams basically <laughs> so yeah that's the update people um and it's pretty much it I've just been spending time with my cat um spending time in the house just trying to because I feel like if I live in it then like it gets cleaned you know um so yeah and it needs like all the attention it can get so <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to close the vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next vlog.